the way osteoarthritis damages is uh, if you grind a joint, you can actually have little fragments of cartilage, this uh, smooth cartilage. So let's go back to what cartilage is. So if you get a, a, a soup bone or a dog bone, on the end of the bone, you've got this smooth, shiny surface. That's articular cartilage. That's super smooth, super hard. So two sheets of articular cartilage sliding against each other have less friction than two sheets of wet ice. This is pretty good stuff we're talking about. If that protective surface gets ground down, that's effectively the diagnosis of osteoarthritis. And if you break some of these molecules away, the, these little particles, um, they will actually inflame the inside of the joint um, in the same way that we traditionally think that gout will, and you'll often get a delayed inflammatory response. So that's, um, if people are wanting to know, is an exercise bad for them? It's not just whether you get pain during the exercise, but it's whether you get a delayed inflammatory response that will be indicative of having some of this articular cartilage debris coming off. And that usually means you're feeling worse or sorer the next day. So I'll So I'll actually use your morning symptoms waking the next day to titrate your exercise levels. And it might be that you've reduced the intensity or you reduce the volume or so on and so forth. And in some athletes, what I've actually done when I've been trying to talk them into retirement, um, like I'll go, these are professional athletes getting paid good money and they really have no other career options. So we tend to push them a little bit harder than we otherwise would. I'll actually stick a needle into the joint after the, the day after the game and get the fluid and then we'll put them in the centrifuge and spin it down. And we can actually see these cartilage fragments actually collecting at the bottom. And when we send it to the lab, they'll say, yep, that's definitely articular cartilage. If you're in that situation and exercise is doing that to your joint, you should stop that exercise. But in general, you might have resilient articular cartilage that is not being broken down by the exercise. And this is where the concept of mechanotherapy comes in. And basically mechanotherapy says that when we stress a tissue, the tissue will actually increase in strength so long as we don't overload it. So if we take mechanical force away from a tissue, we send people into space, they come back, they have osteoporosis, they have weak bones, and we you know, take them out of the shuttle in a wheelbarrow basically, because their, their tissues have weakened. But if we have controlled amount of exercise, controlled amount of force on the tissue, it will strengthen. And articular cartilage is exactly the same. So we have a, a cell called a chondrocyte, which is effectively the main cell in that cartilage. And around that, the periphery, we have something called an extracellular matrix. And the extracellular matrix is what actually confers the, the mechanical properties to that connective tissue. And if we put on regular force, at the right threshold that's not breaking it down, but loading it, that extracellular matrix will get stronger and more resilient to compressive and shear forces. So if you are able to exercise and it doesn't hurt during the exercise and it doesn't hurt the next day, in effect, you are benefiting and strengthening your remaining articular cartilage. That is a good thing.